T minus 10. We send a lot into space. Six. But not all of it is coming back down. Two, one, and lift off. And that's creating quite a problem, a space junk problem. Space junk is anything that is uncontrolled and is floating around. Defunct satellites, nuts, bolts, even astronaut gloves. Space junk can be just about anything. And a whole lot of it is floating around Earth. But the UK Surrey Space Center might have a way to tackle it. With this, remove debris. It may look a bit like a repurposed washing machine, but it could offer cost-effective solutions for the removal of space junk. It has a net for capturing junk. It has a harpoon, which is intended to actually go and, and grab hold of this space junk. But it also has visual-based navigation for working out how the space debris moves around on orbit. There's also a drag sail. This device allows satellites to deorbit quicker and burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. The net and captured junk will naturally deorbit on its own in a few months. Space junk has caused its fair share of problems. On average, debris has fallen back to Earth every day for more than 40 years, according to NASA. Debris in space can travel up to 17,000 miles per hour. So even a paint flake or a small metal fragment can cause some serious damage. Just look at what it did to the window of the International Space Station in 2016. NASA says that at about one centimeter or larger, there are about 500,000 pieces of orbital debris. One millimeter or larger is at about 100 million. Access to space has got easier with cheaper satellites. Even university students are designing their own, which in turn means more objects orbiting Earth. Now, more and more, we are relying on satellite technologies for a lot of things, you know, from the sat-nav that there is in our car. Uh, we are watching TV, you know, via satellite. Because of this reliance on the space infrastructure, any damage to the new satellite really put in jeopardy our normal, you know, way of life. Sponsored by the European Commission, Remove Debris is just a proof of concept. It's quite possible that not everything will work exactly as planned, and that's what we hope to learn from the project. But if it's successful, it could be a step forward for future missions to meet international guidelines on the removal of certain types of space junk. If you can remove debris at a relatively low cost, clearly this becomes a viable option. Whereas if the cost to remove debris is incredibly high, then people would prefer to take the risk. Others hope to take on space junk too. The European Space Agency's ED Orbit hopes to use robotic arm grippers while Astroscale, an aerospace company in Singapore, plans to use magnetic force. Working with several partners brought additional challenges to remove debris. But now, the $18 million project aims to launch in 2018 and hopes to reach the International Space Station in March. And I think until the final test will be carried on on board and we will deploy the sail, I will continue to have a sleepless night. <laughs>